Here we have a B8A4. It's got the standard option headlights. It's got the halogen headlights, not the xenon or the high intensity. So the bright side, if you will, on this style is if it goes out, you can go to the auto parts store anywhere and find the correct bulb. Whereas if you have the high intensity xenon bulbs, you have to spend a lot of money and order them online or get them from the dealer or find a really specialized place that sells them. So we've got some H7s. I guess I gotta make this video because the customer initially was looking at this wire right here, but uh, when we look down here, we can see where the headlight bulbs are. We got high beams and low beams. The low beams are right here, high beams are right here. So you don't mess with this wiring connector right here. If you were to do the high beams, you would be over on this side. We're not doing that right now. The low beams get replaced a lot more frequently because they're what's on 99% of the time or more. So on this side, the passenger side, it's the easier side. We're gonna take this out right here. So I'm just going to uh, squeeze this right here. This is already kind of a little bit jacked up because people don't know how to take these apart, but you just kind of squeeze and push that out. These tabs are still all here, so, but it's a little bit loose inside there. Anyway, this grommet right here, I had already pulled it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and pull it out again so you can see. You can break this plastic right here if you're not careful. So I like to put my fingers down in here and then pull out the grommet like that. And then you don't even need to, you don't even need to unplug this or disconnect this hose. Just kind of pull this up out of the way right here. And now we've got this rubber grommet right here. A little slower with the camera movements. So this was just kind of laying in there and uh, it's supposed to be in its position locked into place with this little keyway slot right here. So also another thing I noticed was these wires are starting to come apart. You see they got hot and uh, they're starting to deteriorate. So that could cause a big problem if that frays and then arcs out and uh, so we need to make sure that they're not twisted and I'm gonna have to get some really good electrical tape and insulate those wires. That repair might not be good enough for some people, but I'm doing this job just for a cameraman. So uh, we don't care about this old light bulb, but on the new light bulb, we can't touch that glass. So, so it was just way too silly to try to get footage of me installing that bulb inside the car because the headlights in there and my hand is in here and I'm pushing the bulb in and I did get some footage of showing it through here but I just had to pull one of my headlight assemblies out of a parts car so you can really get the best view so since I did that you go ahead and just hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button to help me out because I'm helping you out so you can't see what's going on in there. If you just poke your head in there, it looks like that keyway section is here at the bottom. And that probably trips a lot of people up because if they pull the, the headlight out, you can't see where it's allocated in there. And it's not even, it's not even dead center up top. It's, it's catty, catty corner, catty wampus in the corner there. So what you have to do is you have to get that keyway in there and there's also some void in there. So it's like you need you need extra long fingers. It's, it's actually really kind of ridiculous. So uh, that's why it is really tricky. You might not trust the person at AutoZone to put your headlight bulb in. See, I can barely even get it in there. And then I have to push it into place. And then I have to kind of take my fingertips and rotate it into place. And then it just kind of sits there. You have to literally push it once you think once you think it's in place you have to firmly push it and I can't even hardly get the see it's so dark in there I can't even hardly get you a good view but after you get it located it does push in there fairly easy and then it locks behind these tabs see those there's three tabs there that's an h7 bulb and 
you'll be able to know that it's firmly seated in there whenever you look at it from the front. It's a little dusty. Maybe I'll get the other footage for that. It's spring-loaded in there, and you have to really push it into place and then make sure that it's all the way fully seated inside that socket by looking through the headlight housing. It's difficult to do. Let's uh, come to this other side right here and the same thing. I just pulled this rubber boot off right here and then all I did was just barely touch these wires and this headlight just fell out. It wasn't even really pushed in there very well. So. Actually, this one's still good, so if, if he wanted, he could uh, put that in the glove box. And then push that into place. And then this side, the wires look fine, so I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm gonna push it into here. You really got to make sure that it's lined up right and then you really got to push it in with confidence and uh